Janice, so good morning, everybody. You're very welcome to the first research bites of the Institute of Food and Health for 2021. Um, delighted you could join us this morning. And my thanks to Demetrius, who has agreed to present to us this morning. I hope you all had, had a good break and you're probably forgetting what it was like now. Um, probably many of you are in the midst of correcting exam scripts and getting ready to upload grades onto to Gradebook. Um, so just to briefly introduce Demetrius, I think within his, his slides, he's going to, to give us an introduction um, himself, but born in Athens, he completed his BSc in Biosystems Engineering before moving to Stuttgart, where he did an MSc in Environmental Protection and Agricultural Food Production. Then staying in Germany, he moved to the University of Hohenheim, where he completed his PhD and was also involved in quite a range of EU projects. And I've mentioned, I suppose, the EIT, Foods Flagship Food Systems Masters program during his stay there. He's very active in a lot of the DG uh, Agri initiatives and many Horizon 2020 projects. His research interest is in the application of the Internet of Things and sensor technology to enhance the efficiency of circular agri-food systems. And his research stems right across from farm operations through to food and biomaterial processing. So over to you, uh, Demetrius, and thank you very much for agreeing to present to us this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dolores, uh, for uh, this really nice introduction, actually, of my previous background. Uh, I would like to wish you all a happy new year and uh, I'm also delighted to, let's say, launch uh, the research bites in, in 2021. Um, just to add also that before joining UCD uh, from 2016 to 2019, I have held the post of scientific coordinator at the Research Center of, for Bioeconomy. And I was also an exact lecturer at the Institute of Agriculture and Engineering of the University of Hohenheim in Stuttgart. Uh, Stuttgart, uh, you may know already, is located in Germany. University of Hohenheim is quite is a well-known university in agricultural sciences and engineering. And um, today, the topic of today's presentation is, um, I would say, we'll focus on the role of biosystems engineering in the digital era. And um, it's worth mentioning to say that the agri the, agri the agri food value chain has entered an era of digitally enabled processes where data can be generated during all operations or operations related to agricultural production, post-harvest processing, transportation, and uh, storage. Agriculture and uh, food uh, production are becoming increasingly data-driven nowadays. Smart farming in turn goes beyond primary production and influences the full supply chain. Uh, smart farming, I would say, expands from the strict limits of the farm location and affects a series of related fields such as supply chain management, food availability and biodiversity, as well as environment. Uh, as these fields have significant benefits when they follow a data-driven approach under the conditions that the system tools and techniques used have been designed to handle the volume and foremost the variety um, of the data generated, let's say. Therefore, new technologies provide solutions for automated data collection analysis along, all along the food value chain. Um, technology can be applied for uh, gathering data from vast networks in real time, transmit this data to cloud, uh, develop large data banks, undertake data analytics in order to deliver mined and collated data to stakeholders. Uh, in real time. In this way, supply chain actors, as we see here on top of this uh, graphic, um, can address their needs and increase awareness of production processing uh, by processes by having a full uh, vision of the exact amount of input used at each stage of the production stage. Um, also, ma machine fleet and implements use, yield production, possible operational inefficiencies the economic and environmental impact of their practice and field working conditions. Um, I should note that the, this transition of precision agriculture to big data enabled uh, applications uh, in different stages of the value chains will uh, 
contribute to a huge innovation boost and consequently to a drastically improved productivity and sustainability of global as well as regional uh, food systems. Uh, before I present uh, my current uh, research priorities and research projects, I would like to give, uh, to give you a brief overview of my research uh, background. Um, I have been involved in uh, biosystems and food engineering research for the last 15 years, focusing on the intersection of agricultural engineering and post-harvest processing, utilizing tools from sensing systems and new digital, digital technologies. In one of my first projects, uh, funded by the general, uh, um, by the German Federal Ministry of Agri Food and Agriculture, I co-designed, as we see here, and constructed a novel fully automated system for measuring moist resorption behavior of food and uh, other biomaterials. Uh, also, I could develop methods to accelerate the performance of industrial dryers by acquiring measurements under real life uh, conditions. And um, in order to achieve an overall uh, process optimization, the engineering trials were accompanied by relevant uh, product quality assessment using state of the art technologies, as well as innovative multi sensor and computer vision approaches. As such, a sensor system consisting of a CCD camera and a laser backscattering for food quality monitoring, or the use of thermographic camera in another configuration, as we see here, to detect moisture uniformity during drying, as well proximity sensors to monitor volumetric changes of bulky biomaterials during um, drying. Um, uh, furthermore, in the framework of the EU Trafun project, I co-designed an innovative uh, processing system for the production of vitamin D rich mushrooms. And also experiments um, have been carried out with different mushroom species beyond the common, uh, besides the common uh, baton mushrooms, uh, mainly exotics, which is a new market um, in uh, Europe. Uh, worth mentioning that this collaboration uh, with uh, the collaboration with a mushroom producer from Greece in the, top, in the context of the same project led to the development of naturally enhanced uh, vitamin D mushrooms. Um, in the context of another project and uh, in the framework of uh, the EIT food project entitled Educating for Technology um, Takeoff, we aim to deliver an innovative engagement framework uh, that facilitates technology adoption on farms across Europe and also we developed uh, agricultural uh, student ambassadors to work with farmers to increase uh, technology adoption. Uh, the 2019 project included the unique recruitment of farmer champions uh, and technology ambassadors, including stakeholders giving consultancy to farmers who were trained uh, in relevant, irrelevant aspects of technology and then became, uh, let's say, the trainers. Uh, in IFAROS, uh, which is a project funded by ICT Agri Aeronet, we aim to develop a digital farming system for site specific nitrogen application in winter wheat by um, developing a novel cloud based application, uh, acting as an intelligent uh, middleware with data analytics capabilities, um, also realizing better decision support algorithms for farm management and operations and developing an advanced FMIS farm, farm management system for exploiting the first two objectives to an, uh, in an easy to understand, I would say, manner. And uh, last but not least, we also apply the produce uh, site-specific management fertilizer application map in an autom automated way by utilizing uh, tractors, ISO bus. Uh, before uh, joining, as I said in the very beginning, before joining UCD, I coordinated the very big uh, Horizon 2020 multi actor project entitled uh, Smart Chain on Sustainable Agri Food uh, Chains with 43 partners across Europe. Uh, it was a demand driven approach with active involvement of end users 
for example, farmers and small, small food businesses, industry, technology providers, agricultural cooperatives and associations. And this demand-driven uh, approach was uh, deeply embedded in the project from the very beginning. Uh, therefore, the project Smart Chain provides uh, innovative solutions to practical problems that sort food supply chain practitioners are facing with food production and processing, product development, access to markets, logistics, uh, distribution, and of course, digitization. Um, it has also established nine uh, innovation, nine national innovation uh, communities exclusively working on uh, uh, short food supply chains in different partner countries. Uh, those physical hubs are backed up uh, by a virtual innovation hub in order to facilitate stakeholder engagement. Um, the project uh, kicked off in September 2018, and as I said, under the Horizon 2020 framework, bringing together more, as you see here, more than 43, uh, bringing together 43 partner organizations, but however, we were much, many more. And uh, with, uh, of course, complementary types of knowledge from 11 uh, European countries. Um, with this slide, I would like uh, to show you what was the infrastructure, the technology, the previous technology infrastructure, just a desktop uh, computer, I would say. But uh, in research, uh, in research years, um, in research years, technology and tools used for precision agriculture are, are widely combined with uh, cloud computing, Internet of Things, big data, and drones with aim to revolutionize farming and food production. I would say. Uh, new technologies can offer new opportunities and um, smart farming nowadays using a combination of technological advances such as sensors, drones, variable rate, application machinery, satellite navigation, and positioning technology and the Internet of Things. All mention, mentioned technologies produce a massive amount of uh, data capable of changing the current status of the agri-food sector. But, a series of effective actions have to be established for their efficient um, exploitation. Furthermore, emerging image processing uh, technologies uh, adopt uh, neutral, uh, neural networks and deep learning approaches for providing new areas of applications in the field of uh, computer vision. Uh, nowadays, researchers from all over the world, I would say, are collaborating towards the creating of innovative ICT in direct ICT tools direct to meet the societal challenges of sustainable development uh, goals, in particular, research use efficiency, food security, reduction of food uh, losses and waste. Uh, personally, I have a particular research interest, as Dolores said in the very beginning, in the application of IoT and sensor, sensor technology to enhance the operational efficiency of circular agri-food systems from on-farm operations uh, right through to food and biomaterial uh, processing. Hence, um, uh, a special uh, interest of my research is on technologies to reduce food loss on the farm and to add value through food and uh, biomaterial processing, building at the same time uh, the necessary infrastructure by utilizing tools from uh, new digital uh, technologies. To this end, uh, the, new, the new project uh, um, started last September, uh, named uh, the Food Industry of the Digital Era, new practices in training and skills development through extended reality, which is an Erasmus Plus uh, project, um, focuses uh, or um, has the aim to introduce new technologies in the food industry and improve the capacity of students, researchers, academics, and the industry professionals in this uh, technology, with uh, more specific objectives to develop pilot XR uh, technology in the food industries through the development of um, XR prototype tool. Also, to develop an e-learning tool on the use of the XR prototype tool uh, in order to enable the transfer of knowledge to industry professionals and academia. Uh, the second uh, 
project um, is called uh, Wild Maps Fit. Uh, is another Erasmus Plus project aiming to facilitate sustainable wild map collections and enhance ICT uptake in education and training through the creation of an online based tool allowing the upskilling of map collect collectors um, knowledge. Uh, our specific objectives here are to develop a GIS enabled tool for the identification and geotyping of ecological data for wild maps, additional aromatic plants, and also to develop a massive open online uh, course by the end of uh, the project. Uh, the third project uh, will start uh, next February. Um, it's called Masnomics, it's a European project with the aim to demonstrate the, feas the feasibility of dynamic data driven analysis for multi domain mushroom production environments in order to optimize yield, lower cost, and improve uh, the economic viability of this uh, agri food sector, I would say, of the mushroom value chain. And uh, of course, it takes full chain uh, systems based approach from producer to consumer and beyond, including valorization aspects. Uh, in Mathnomics, uh, we work together uh, as a balanced research practice uh, partnership, including research intensive uh, academics in UCD and the University of Copenhagen, and also end users, a mushroom producer from Hungary and an IT company from Romania. Our specific objectives here are to design and construct a prototype IoT based and environment controlled modular container farm unit. To develop and validate, validate and demonstrate uh, artificial intelligence algorithms for, for predictive mushroom yield, and develop an ICT platform to exchange data all along the mushroom value chain and beyond. <clears throat> uh, uh, the last project that I will present today is called SpectroFood and focuses on agri-food uh, quality estimation using uh, spec hyperspectral techniques. It is another ICT agri food project uh, aiming to develop digital technology solutions, combining innovative hyperspectral imaging systems, artificial intelligence, intelligence techniques, and uh, analytical tools, and of course, a data platform related solutions. And we work together in collaboration with uh, Colum from our uh, school and uh, IFA. Um, I would say here, uh, just to give you an overview about uh, the concept and the approach of uh, Spectral Food, I would like, I would say, I will focus more on this project and um, we will deploy, as I said, uh, SpectroFood will use state-of-the-art hyperspectral imaging systems to collect data at, via, at various stages of the agri-food value chain, as we see here, able, able to reveal uh, critical product-related re quality uh, characteristics. Uh, the deployment of artificial intelligent, uh, intelligence algorithms, AI algorithms, fed with hyperspectral uh, data, and organoleptic lab measurements will help obtain useful quality indices. These indices may serve the purpose of issuing uh, quality notifications and alerts in the industry and uh, proposing best practices for production and post-harvest treatment optimization. Also, the digital platform will ensure supply chain uh, stakeholder access to data and host the intelligence of the solutions and uh, also it aims to facilitate the data use processing and storage as well as uh, its analysis and visualization enhancing the monitoring and control processes uh, supply chain um, our uh, spectral food solution uh, will be tested and evaluated in four use cases across uh, four uh, european countries for example we will focus on mushrooms in ireland Germany will focus on apples and cherries, uh, Belgium on leek, and Greece on organic uh, broccoli. Um, these use cases will be established on both conventional and, and organic uh, agricultural systems producing uh, high value crops. 
um, you, the use cases of our project have been uh, carefully selected to step on existing experiments and synergies uh, with uh, agri-food industry and other related uh, ICT agri-oriented projects. Uh, consequently, participation of growers, processors, tech providers, retailers, and consumers will be in the epicenter of the um, spectral food activities. <coughs> um, so the project will be implemented uh, in three uh, phases over the next 36 months. Uh, the first phase uh, is called the social interactive phase. Uh, um, this phase will provide the necessary support to the use uh, case implementation phase by contributing to the co-establishment in a number of critical quality related parameters. Uh, the second is the scientific and technology development phase. Um, where uh, spectral uh, signatures will be captured at every uh, critical stage in the supply chain by using the hyperspectral imaging system in a variety of settings and conditions. And the data capture will be processed with, uh, by artificial intelligence techniques at two stages. We have a stage one validation and stage two prediction. And here also the pipeline of uh, the AI-based spectral image processing uh, sequence illustrated. Um, uh, the project will also develop a digital platform and deploy, will implement a digital platform for the use and visualization of the produced data. Uh, analytic uh, tools will be used for data processing to identify the optimal cascade of actions at each supply chain stage. And uh, the use of a standard data exchange format will allow the um, interfacing with other systems and quality assessment uh, protocols. Uh, the work um, is split uh, into five work packages. It's with clear tasks, of course, that will enable the project ob objectives to be fulfilled through an organization structure that will allow also facilitate project management. As you see, uh, we have uh, five work packages and it's important to note here that um, the intention of this project is for public good research and wide dissemination and UCD is responsible for this, is responsible for work package for and dissemination and communication of project Result besides our technical work on hyperspectral imaging uh, in the context of uh, work package two. Uh, therefore, we have uh, the, the communication dissemination strategy is very important uh, for the project, I would say, and uh, will follow a two phase implementation with a project approach oriented, uh, including the presentation of the project uh, objectives and expected uh, results and the research-oriented approach so where the intermediate and final project results will be disseminated uh, to different uh, target groups. Um, the project, of course, will develop a visual identity and logo, a website, and a social media account. And uh, in, keeping, in keeping with the general profile of uh, its target audience, the most appropriate uh, dissemination tools and channels will be selected for targeting its and the expected impacts, impact of our dissemination activities will also be defined. Uh, the communication plan as an early deliverable will be developed order to ensure that uh, appropriate activities are conceived in order to inform, engage, create awareness, and to promote information about the projects, its aims, uh, its funding source, its outputs and impacts. As I said, uh, this project has been designed for wide uh, dissemination. Uh, key messages, of course, will be drafted and tailored uh, for its identified target audience, as mentioned before. And um, Another interesting and very important aspect is that uh, the networking with other projects of ICT agri-food and beyond uh, is, is considered as very important since it will ensure knowledge interchange and the use of between past and future projects. 
uh, the networking uh, the networking plan will uh, take account of relevant projects such as the Internet of Food and Farm uh, or Smart Agri Hubs and the DIVA. Uh, in this project, I am also in the advisory board. And this project aims to provide support to development of new industrial digital value chains with applications to the agro food, forestry, and environment uh, sectors. We will try to um, develop synergies with that. And um, uh, last but not least, as very important activity, networking will also focus on activities involving uh, consortium partners and their respective uh, regions, given that. that Spectro, Spectro Food Partners are members of relevant networks, groups, and associations. And um, we will try to maximize uh, cooperation, establish cooperation, and maximize uh, integration of results uh, in other projects as well. Uh, to maximize uh, the impact and ensure a wide dissemination, as I mentioned, of the project results, the Spectro Food will contribute uh, to relevant initiatives uh, at the European, uh, at the EU level, such as the Agricultural European Innovation Partnership, EIP Agri. Um, I participated uh, before as an expert in a focus group of EIP Agri on reducing food loss on the farm, coordinated by our um, UCD professor Shane Ward. And um, after that focus group, I was a coordinating expert of another focus group of EIP Agri uh, that we worked uh, with other 20 experts on plant-based uh, medicinal and cosmetic product, products, I would say, on a diversification of opportunities through plant-based um, medicinal and cosmetic products. And uh, that was my last slide. I would like to thank you very much for your attention. And of course, feel free 